Today, we're gonna cover 15 ChatGPT plugins that you can use for data science. So let's figure out which plugins we can use to automate our job. The first plugin is called Code Interpreter. It's a plugin that allows you to run Python code, analyze data, and get results right in the chat. It's basically like Jupyter Notebooks, but instead of you doing the work, ChatGPT does all the work. The first thing you're gonna do is load up a data set for the plugin to use. So to do this, we have a second plugin. It's not really a plugin, it's actually a Chrome extension called ChatGPT File Uploader. This extension allows you to basically upload any file extension like a CSV file, Excel, Word document, PDF, whatever data you actually have, you can upload it and then start asking ChatGPT questions. So again, with this plugin, you'll be able to automatically do exploratory data analysis, produce code, and visualize the data. It can even select the model for you and train it for you. Our next plugin is called Notable. It's similar to Code Interpreter, but it's on steroids. Notable is probably the most popular plugin for data science right now. Um, it works very similar to Code Interpreter. You can ask it questions, explore data, do some machine learning modeling, but you can also create projects, save them, and then export them to share with other people. You can also upload your own data native to Notable. You can connect to a database or read directly from a web page. I would definitely use this plugin to do data projects, whether as a hobby or at work. The next one is not a plugin, but it's super helpful if you do any data analysis off of Google Sheets. It's called GPT for Google Sheets and Docs, and you can use it to clean data inside a Google Sheet. All you have to do is call the GPT function inside Google Sheets and then start cleaning and transforming your data. You can even have it write Python code using your regular words. The next plugin is called Chat with Git. It's a plugin that will help you search code on GitHub and grab examples of code that you're looking for. So if you've been going through Stack Overflow to get all of your answers, this is another alternative. I use it as a Stack Overflow replacement, but it also acts as a knowledge base if you're working as a team on a project. It can go through your team's code and answer any questions you have about their projects. Now let's talk about other ways we can feed more data into ChatGPT. Here are some plugins that will help you access web pages, PDFs, presentations, images, Word documents, and other file types. The first one's called WebPilot. WebPilot can browse a link, PDFs, documents, and generate content like articles or help answer questions about what's inside the link that you provide. Link Reader and Access Link are two plugins that are very similar to WebPilot. They can both access data from various sources like links, PDFs, documents, PowerPoints, and images just like WebPilot can do. Chat with Website allows you to chat with a website. You can basically have a conversation with that website to learn more about the contents of its page. Web Requests and Scraper. So these two plugins are very similar like the last few. It can grab text, links, images, anything you provide it. You can use it to scrape data from sports sites to generate your own data set to analyze. And then you can pair it with Notable and then have Notable analyze the data and create visualizations. And you're basically done with your project. Do you want more ways to get data? Well, there is obviously OpenAI's default search engine, Bing. So this obviously lets you access information from websites uh, like Wikipedia, news articles, and web pages. There's also Scholar AI, which gives you access to scientific papers to enhance your research capabilities. It'll search through PubMed, Springer, and all of those academic search engines. There's also Wolfram. This plugin makes JetGPT smarter by giving it access to powerful computation, advanced math concepts, and real-time data and visualizations. You can use all of these plugins together and pair them with a plugin like a Notable and really just have ChatGPT do all of your data science. With all of this data, you're probably gonna need more AI memory. So try installing the Memory Bank plugin to get more bang for your buck. So those are 13 ChatGPT plugins. 
Honestly, I haven't even really scratched the surface of all of the plugins that come out every day. I found this website called the whatplugin.ai. It has a list of hundreds of plugins that you can use with ChatGPT. So go ahead and try out a few and let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks.